my name is Talisha from Owl on the Willow and today I'm going to show you how I gave this roadside find an ocean inspired makeover. I found this piece of furniture on the side of the road. It was in pretty good condition. Uh, the only slight issue is, is that it's timber veneer. So that means when I was cleaning this one over, I noticed quite a few chunks of the veneer missing, but that's not a problem. That just means that I will be painting this entire piece. As I do with nearly every project, I've given this piece a light sand and a really good clean with white lightning cleaner. And now it's time for the first coat of paint. For this project, I will be using silk all-in-one mineral paint. When working with timber furniture, I really love to leave a little bit of that timber exposed. So that won't be the case with this one and that is totally fine, it just means I'll be exploring a different look. The initial plan for this project was to go in with the colour Sunkissed on the top and then paint the remainder of the TV unit in a really soft blue. So that's where we started but that is not where we're going to end. Now for this soft blue colour, I've actually done a custom mix of two parts Serenity with one part Baja Grey. This is a great paint to work with. It's minimal prep, uh, no top coat required and it self levels wonderfully. It is however important that you work with a synthetic brush and another little trick when working with this paint is to make sure you've got quite a bit of paint on that brush. As pretty as these two colours are, I wasn't quite happy with them together on this piece of furniture. So I have decided to go in on the top with the beautiful colour Hampton Olive. Before I select colours for a piece of furniture, I think more about the style that I'm going for. So with this project, I knew that I wanted it to be a blend of earthiness, yet a subtle nod to the ocean and the beach. So to achieve this blend of two different styles and two different looks, I needed to get the colours just right. So that also meant that I also decided to slightly change the colour of that blue. Working at the style of the project also means deciding what kind of home that you can envisage this piece of furniture in. And for me, I imagine it in a quite a modern yet neutral home. So I really wanted to stick to very, very soft neutral colors. And that is why I decided just to take the blue out of that paint. I ended up actually adding more of that Baja Grey and then also a hint of Hampton Olive just so I got the tones of paint to complement one another rather than fight against each other. that coat of paint it's now time to work on the timber top again and I'm going in with a second coat of Hampton Olive. For this project I'm using the Scarlet paintbrush. It has synthetic bristles so it's perfect for using with mineral paint and it doesn't have the traditional handle so it sits really well in the palm of your hand. The size of the Scarlet brush is what I love about it most. It's not too big yet not too small and you paint a large area like this super quick. I was unsure of what to paint the inside of that centre part of the TV unit so I've left that towards the end. I usually really love doing a pop of colour and a contrasting colour as well. However, this isn't that type of project and I really wanted to maintain that subtle, neutral look. And not only that, I knew that I was going to paint a whale on the front of this piece of furniture. So I wanted that to stand out. Now, I'm no incredible artist. I find this type of art really tricky and really challenging, but with the help of a projector and some paint that is very easy to blend, I'm able to create a whale masterpiece on the front of this piece of furniture. 
This whale graphic is a free image from Canva and with the help of an old projector, it has projected this image for me to replicate onto this furniture. Believe me when I say anybody can do this. There is very little skill involved. It's honestly just a matter of using this projected image as a guide and painting away. A little secret when selecting the right graphic for this type of project is to make sure that it's quite a soft image. So there's no real harsh lines and this image also has kind of a watercolor look to it, which makes the blending really easy to follow. trick when selecting which graphic to use for this type of project is to make sure that the colors within the image are all quite similar as that will also make your life a lot easier when blending.
hours of painting, my whale is complete. And so now it's time to paint the inside. And for that, I'm using the color Cape Current. I use the color Cape Current predominantly when painting the whale. So when trying to work out which color to use on the inside, it just made sense. Not only does that Cape Current provide a wonderful contrast to the outside color light blue, it also complements the whale beautifully. to paint the inside of the drawers in the same color Cape Current but first I give them a quick clean and discover a little cockroach living in there so that was fun <laughs> uh, no cockroaches were injured in the making of this film To complete the inside of the cupboard doors, I've decided to use these compass transfers from the Nautical Life Pack from Dixville Paint Company and their Bells and Whistles range. And here you go, here is the completed project. silver hardware I decided to use gold gilding wax just to bring some warmth and then for the inside of the drawers as well I used some nautical life transfers. I really love how this one turned out and I'd love to know your thoughts too. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Here's where else you can find me.